good morning fellow YouTubers. I see Heli Guy here this morning. Just out again with the M1 Evo. Just having a couple of steady little flights around. Using up all my batteries. Uh, I've currently got six batteries now. So yeah, we're just going to have a little fly around. This perfect British morning. It's actually very low winds this morning. Let's get her up in the air quickly. So I feel my progression is coming along quite well to be fair. Um, still in stability mode. Don't want to risk 3D yet. I actually quite enjoy flying this around in the stability mode. So I'll just do a couple of circuits basically, left to right, etc. Fly it up and down, and then a little bit of hovering practice. Um, I don't go full speed. <laughs> at the moment. I think that's a confidence thing more than anything. I haven't crashed it at all, to be fair. I've had a couple of little bumps on the floor where I've landed a bit excessively, but nothing major. Gotta watch it over by those trees because the sun's starting to come up and I lose vision. So let me know in the comments box if there's anybody else out there that's, you know, new to the hobby and is flying in stability mode with the smaller helis. This is the M1 Evo. Um, a lot of people like the blades, I think it is. Blade Horizon. Um, I didn't actually go for any of those because I don't like the whole idea of it having gears and cogs and stripping the teeth and replacing them. I don't mind replacing a shaft if, if I had to at any point, um, which I think would be quite easy. Main shaft, ever in shaft. I'm actually on my fourth battery at the moment, I think, this morning. Still got the M2 to fly as well. Got three batteries on that. Because I fly in stability mode, I set the timer for eight minutes on that. That gives me good flight. Need to get myself a sim, don't I? <clears throat> Let's do a bit forward hover and see if we can get it to sit in sort of one place. Getting much better at this. This is definitely a step, big step for me, was being able to do this. But it just comes with time, I think. Practice. Muscle memory more than anything else, I think. I definitely agree with that. I mean, the speed on this thing. I've only got it in stability mode, like, like I said. And mode up, I'd like one. And the speed of it is just un unreal. I mean, I'm probably less than less than quarter of a way forward on the gimbal. Yeah. I mean, if I go full, you'll see it dip forward. That's full. Oof. I'm not going to lie, that did panic me a little bit. Bring it back over here, away from that sunshine. That's why I come to this part of the field because I'm behind the sun coming up so I can see and that's in your eyes that is not good oh wasp in my face that's not good so I think my timer is going to go off in a second there we go so let's bring it back over here let's get a little land on it
I never let the timer panic me because I've set these batteries for five minutes but most people say you get six to seven minutes so I do that on purpose. Oh, missed. There we go. And shut off. So there's another little video. There will be many more to come. I'm just going to keep doing it. Show people my journey throughout until I get to 3D, etc. Start doing some flips and rolls and stuff like that. Uh, that would be brilliant. But uh, yeah, all takes time. So if you like the channel, please subscribe. Like I say, if you have any comments on what, what helicopters you fly, and give me some advice, that would be much appreciated. All the best. Thank you.